she announced a new alcohol brand in the works earlier this year. And Kendall Jenner proved to be a hands-on boss as she greeted a slew of fans at the launch of 818 Tequila in Los Angeles on Monday afternoon. The 25-year-old supermodel sported an all-white ensemble complete with an 818 vest to reveal her new line at Mel and Rose Liquor Store after facing cultural appropriation backlash for not only naming her spirits after the Calabasas area code where she grew up, but also for failing to honor Tequila's deep-rooted Mexican legacy. Kendall wore a loose white long-sleeved top with straight-leg jeans and a navy blue 818 vest with a Kenny patch. She stayed comfortable with a classic pair of black Converse trainers and blocked her eyes from the bright sun with rectangular frames. Enthusiastic fans were treated to 818 merchandise, including hats and shirts, thrown by Jenner into the crowds from a bright green truck. She looked comfortable behind the wheel as she posed for a few selfies while holding a lavender iPhone case. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians star then made her way to BevMo where her bottles were proudly displayed. Her new line includes a non Yeho, Blanco and Reposado from Agave plants grown in Jalisco, Mexico. Kendall announced on Monday morning that her line would officially be available in California, with states soon to follow for a fully stocked summer. She roamed through fields of agave on horseback and sipped her spirits in a moody Instagram video where she also turned off commenting capabilities to her 164 million followers. Almost immediately after announcing her latest venture earlier this year, Kendall faced intense scrutiny for the name of her brand and the attempt to diminish tequila's cultural significance in the Latinx community. There was just a lack of respect to the culture and the importance of tequila to Mexico. Bartender Lucas Assis told Yahoo Life in February. She didn't even know how to properly drink tequila. He went on to explain how agave takes up to nine years to fully mature before being able to harvest, a questionable time frame since Kendall noted that she had only spent four years perfecting her new brand. The plant is embedded in the country's history and culture. Celebrities need to understand the detrimental effect their brands can have on the tequila industry but even most importantly on the agriculture of the agave plant, he said. Using Mexico's culture and history for nothing other than capital gain is culture appropriation. Not to mention leaving the family-owned small distilleries, who have been doing this for generations, struggling to keep up with the skyrocketing prices of the agave due to farmers simply not being able to keep up with the demand. Available in California, with states soon to follow for a fully stocked summer. She roamed through fields of agave on horseback and sipped her spirits in a moody Instagram video where she also turned off commenting capabilities to her 164 million followers. Almost immediately after announcing her latest venture earlier this year, Kendall faced intense scrutiny for the name of her brand and the attempt to diminish tequila's cultural significance in the Latinx community. There was just a lack of respect to the culture and the importance of tequila to Mexico, bartender Lucas Assis told Yahoo Life in February. 
she didn't even know how to properly drink tequila. He went on to explain how agave takes up to nine years to fully mature before being able to harvest, a questionable time frame since Kendall noted that she had only spent four years perfecting her new brand. The plant is embedded in the country's history and culture. Celebrities need to understand the detrimental effect their brands can have on the tequila industry but even most importantly on the agriculture of the agave plant, he said. Using Mexico's culture and history for nothing other than capital gain is culture appropriation. Not to mention leaving the family-owned small distilleries, who have been doing this for generations, struggling to keep up with the skyrocketing prices of the agave, due to farmers simply not being able to keep up with the demand.